Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, so I woke up at, hold on, what's up, y'all? Let me get a high five. All right, so I woke up at 4 a.m. looking stupid. My body was tired. My face, hold on. It's therapy calling, y'all, hold on. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, this is Kim. Um, I just talked to Leslie, and she said that if you, you know, um, come in, still coming to see Carter at 1030. Yeah, I'm on my way right now. Okay, see if your transportation can come and pick you up at 1230, because she can see you after you see Carter. All right, I'm going to make them do it. Okay, so, yeah, so so let's just say 12.30. You'll be ready. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, peace. Okay, bye. All right, I'm back, y'all. So, my transportation been tweaking, man. Got me missing appointments. Good all that. All right, so I'm in the left on my way to physical therapy, right? Chilling with Mr. Allison, man. About to pick his brain right quick. Brother, brother been through it too, man. Be telling y'all, don't be complaining out here. It always could be worse. It's people that's going through way more stuff than you, and they they happier than you. So I don't want to hear no excuses. Stop complaining, y'all. But yeah, though, let's let's ask bro questions. My typical questions. All right, so bro, in life, what you think the most important thing is out of these things? Is it love, respect, money? Time or health? Love. Love. Yeah. Why love? Because that's a lot of times that's what keep people alive, keep people pushing. People with good health is unhappy if they don't have love. People with money is unhappy if they don't have love. I feel like everything else it, it, it's you need love to go along with it, but with without love, it's kind of I don't know. It, it, I don't want to say it's purposeless, but it, it don't serve the same purpose. Like, if you got money, I know me, whenever I have money, I spend it on the people I love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, yeah, love is the most important to me. I feel you. I said it's purposeless. I, man, I love love. Love keep me going. That's the only reason why I ain't give up. Love, bro. Yeah. I'm living for other people because I love them, bro, for real. So I agree. Love. Yes, sir. All right, when it's, when it's all said and done, bruh, would you rather be hated or forgotten? Forgotten. Forgotten? Yeah. What? That's like you never was here, bruh, the world. But I don't, I don't want nobody hating. I, I hate haters. And they hated Jesus. Yeah, but that was that was part of his purpose. You know what I'm saying? Me, I, I feel like if um, hatred is... Uh, Hatred leads to health problems. Hatred leads to stress. It leads to a lot of negative. And I'd rather not have... I'd rather not be remembered than to leave a negative impact, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. That's one of my biggest fears, though, like living life. And when I die, they forget me like I never was here. Woo! I, I always tell my brother, like, um, after my pops died, especially, I, uh, I always tell him I always live like I want to be remembered. So, you know, anytime somebody called me for something or need something, I try to be there. I try to, you know, get there. You know what I mean? Like, it's like to where when I'm gone, it's gonna be a, enough of love, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, yo, that was a real dude, you know what I mean? Versus just, you know what I mean? Like that that's my biggest thing, is just living like you wanna be remembered. I don't even wanna be, I would love to be the most successful or the, you know what I mean? But it's, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's all of us has a purpose, you know what I mean? I feel like my purpose is just make sure that people around me could, you know what I'm saying? And we'll wait. I definitely was gonna ask you what you think your purpose is. I I think it's um I think it's just to keep people up, like you know, just keep people uh, in good spirits. Because, like you said, we all we all been through things, and um, a 
lot of times it can take you out. You know what I mean? It can, it can, it can make you quit. It can make you give up. You know what I'm saying? But if, but I feel like to go back to with the love thing, I think that's what keep people pushing. So if I'm always there when they call, and they know some, they got somebody in their corner. Sometimes that's all you need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. Do you think being depressed is a choice? To a certain degree. To a certain degree. Um, cause, because we all get depressed. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, it's, it's I think, um, I think it's, it depends on how good you are at counting your blessings, though. That, that it, it makes it, it changes your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's a, depression is more like a, instead of a choice, it's a mind state. And so if you're thinking about the negatives, then you don't even notice that the positives outweigh the negatives. And then once you realize the, neg the positive outweighs the negatives, or once you remind yourself the positive outweighs the negatives, then your mind state changes. But I do understand where a lot of people are depressed, but a lot of people been through different things that they're not even talking about. You know what I'm saying? And have nobody to talk to about it. You know what I mean? So it's um So I feel like, yeah, to a certain degree. Cause I know some people are you it's difficult fighting demons. So I I feel like to a certain degree it is, but to a certain degree it ain't. You can't some people just can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Did you did you ever see yourself killing yourself, bro? Um I can't. I, I've had relatives who has, mm. and um, because of ironically because of depression on my my father's side, and um, I I couldn't. I, I can't personally see myself doing it simply because I got a son, and I don't want him to think. It's cool. It's cool to, you know. what I mean, you got to be here. You got to fight through whatever for your family, your, your friends, you, you, the people that was here before you, that provided for you before. You know what I mean? Like it's just I, I can't. I understand why some people would do it. You know, like one one uh, person in my family, they, uh, they got diagnosed with cancer, and this this was before I was alive though. But you know, it was um. They said they didn't want their family to see them suffer on their way out. They'd rather just people remember them as they were and just go out on their own terms. So, but me, you know, I'd rather, whatever I'm going through, I'd rather fight till the end, you know, because there's always hope. There's always hope. Keep hope alive, bro. Okay. Right. It's the last question, bro. What you think? What you think happened to us after we die, bro? Mm. What you believe in? <laughs> what I hope is I hope we, we become guardian angels for the people that we we love on Earth. Like, like in the movies, be flying around protecting them and stuff. We're not even flying around protecting protecting them, but just their conscience. You know, I, I know a lot of times when I do something. When I'm thinking about doing something I ain't got no business doing, I hear my mother, I hear my grandmother, I hear my grandfather, I hear different people that I lost in different situations, and I hear them, it's like, nah, take, you know what I mean? Like, don't go there tonight, you know? And it's like, or, or like, whenever like, your hand, like if I'm driving, sometimes I avoid an accident and don't know how I avoided the accident, it's just, what made me take this left and then come back into the lane? Or what made me, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's a lot of times a, a, a higher power. And I hope that we get attached to a higher power and can help those that, you know, we care for, you know what I'm saying? Like I hope to be able to look over my son. And I feel like we live through 
um, when we leave a legacy, like our children or whatever, we live through them. Like, you know, like our actions, our demeanors, our jokes, the way we play, the way we joke, the way we tease, whatever we do, it lives through them. And so I'm hoping that, you know, we continue to be a voice for them, you know. I like that. That was cool, man. I hope y'all, I hope y'all took some away from that. All right, y'all, I'm about to pull up. We at the building. So make sure y'all leave a comment or whatever y'all want to do, man. Peace.